All right, hey, what's going on, everybody? All right, so today we're gonna get into something a little bit different. Uh, never really start the videos like this, but I figure I'd give you like a little introduction process to how I set up the painting. Uh, let me just move the camera here. All right, so I just cut out a piece of canvas um, just to match the uh, cardboard that I have. I don't really go by specific size, I just like that cardboard size I've used it several times so I'm just gonna roll with it and here's a little something I have worked out from one of my idols I'm gonna use it today and call that genius in beauty um, just to give you an idea of where I'm gonna go I'm not using any reference photos and I'm not using um, let's see yeah, so I'm not using any reference photos um, I'm not really going to use anything other than my imagination and uh, just roll with it like that and I really see the piece in my head pretty much complete and I just drew out the reference just so I can give you an idea of where I'm going to go and yeah that's it let me get set up I got the piece all ironed out I'm just stepping on it now <laughs> and uh, yeah let's get rolling all right so I got my canvas all put up on my cardboard I literally just tape them like this there's the piece, uh, it holds it good enough, and it's easier to, uh, you know, kind of put around the room so I can let it dry. And because I had it on the floor, what I like to do is just go over and just try and take off anything that might be stuck on there. This is just regular tape, and nothing special. Don't have to spend thousands of dollars to get, uh, you know, all your materials. I, I, I just use whatever I have that's good enough. For me, the most important thing is the paint. I just care about the end result. I don't really, I don't care how I get there. I just like the end result. All right, we'll take. Yeah. Yeah. Obviously, I ironed it on the floor. <laughs> so there's, I try to keep the floor clean, but there's always something down there. Probably because I just knock it off and do this. Anyway. All right, so okay, so I'm back. I'm just squatting down here because I have the camera set up very, very loosely today. Um, so yeah, so this piece is going to be a mixed media piece. I'm laying down a layer of acrylic. Um, this is unmixed, bright yellow, and it's nothing, nothing special. This is just Craft Smart probably uh, it's, it's like student grade acrylic uh, paint and I want it really flat the reason why I'm not mixing it and why I'm using acrylic is because I want that that surface to be very flat I don't really want anything um, with any depth and I want I want these colors so I have two colors like I showed you in the beginning I got the bright yellow here and this one's just called red although it looks a little bit more like I don't know, like it has a little bit of a pink hue to it. But, and then I just got my plastic glove so I don't have to mess with cleaning a paintbrush. And I just pick it up and then just begin to apply like that. With this uh, unprimed canvas, the color, this yellow, really jumps out. I mean, it's just really jumping out of here. You guys see, uh, another reason I'm really not using a brush because I don't want any brush strokes. I mean, I'm sure I could get that all out. But I like the... kind of like the abstract that comes from just using your hand and using the glove. Right? So I don't really have much control. And so it is very... Very kind of like, I guess you would say, primitive. Although, we are using modern materials, so it's not that, not that primitive. That's the only, uh, that's the only SAT word I could think of right now. Primitive. Okay. Yeah, loving it already. Yeah, another reason I really enjoy using the acrylic, which I don't do in all of my paintings. This isn't like a one, two, three step process of what I do. This is just what I'm doing for this one in particular. 
Um, I do try to um, really overextend myself on every painting and when I start to notice that I'm kind of uh, moving through paintings mechanically like when I start to do series I may become very mechanical by my third painting or maybe even the fourth painting at that point I kind of feel like I just want to step away and stop I just want to stop doing that because um, I don't want to I don't want to I want to be present you know I want to be present with the painting I don't want to be mechanical with with uh, how I'm constructing these okay I think that's pretty good I'm gonna move on yeah so I don't have to wash my hands I just got these cheap gloves you know during the pandemic everybody was glove happy and yeah so I bought a shitload and um, okay so here I'm gonna try and do so I know where my figure is going to be here and I want something like this yeah. yeah something so yeah perfect seen it and in my mind in my mind I can already see really uh, I can see the painting finished um, as I'm sure a lot of other artists, you know, you know your vision, you know where you're going. Yeah, I really like this. There we go. Yeah. You know, I'm going to add a little bit of this up in the corners just to build a relation. I also like doing that so we can have some sort of... Uh, counterbalance here. Don't put any on the curtains. Oh. Yeah. I think I like that. Since it's acrylic, I can touch the bottom. That's going to dry. Yeah. There we go. Maybe I'll just put my hand print right there. Yeah, cool. Okay, that's done. Move on to the next color. Yeah, see, I love those gloves. I don't have to. I don't have to worry about going down the hallway, downstairs, all the way into the bathroom just to wash my hands and just wipe it off. And acrylic is so great because it speeds up the drying time before I put down the oils on top. Um, so I can have a nice base to work from. Now there is one more color. So there's one more color I want to put on. And I'm only doing this color, really, because I'm going to have some text. And if you check, see, it's not really... Uh, yeah, I don't think these are expensive at all. Anyway, so like I was saying... I'm only using this color because I want to have some text in the painting. Okay. Maybe open it. Maybe it doesn't want to. Anyway. So yeah, I'm just going to have... Let's just do this. That seems like a good idea. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna add some text, and so I, I want the background to kind of pull that, pull that forward. I'm sorry, no, I can't. I obviously cannot talk and do two things. So I'm using this color because I want to put text over it, and I want this color to translate as the um, to catch the eye and also represent the text. That's why it's going to be a different color. Ooh. Paint crumbs. Yeah. So let's just... There you go. 
Okay. Make sure that doesn't spill or you'll get beat. you could call that abstract. You could stop there if we wanted to. But, like I said, we're just following the vision. Okay, so that glove, I guess, had a hole in it. <laughs> All right. All right. Let me see. I'm going to attempt to grab you here. Don't get sick. So that's what we got. Get you up close. Right? Now I'm just gonna wait a little bit, I don't know, 10 minutes or so, and uh, let it all dry. And then I'll start coming back with some oils. So, after these messages, I'll be right back. All right, and I'm back. I hope you enjoyed those commercials. Uh, let's see here. Now I'm just gonna get started. Now I'm going to lay down some oil, and uh, if you're asking why would I do uh, acrylic and then put oil over it, why don't I just keep going with acrylic? Uh, the reason for that is because the oil will remain more vibrant um, because of its qualities, and the acrylic kind of dulls out, right? So it just stays really flat. That dullness is what, I, what makes it stay flat. Um, here, I'll take these off. I keep forgetting I'm wearing my headphones and then I'm talking and I'm like feel like I'm yelling so loud in my head um, yeah so that that's pretty much it right so I just made up a few brief colors here and um, yeah like I said I can kind of see this in my head as far as like how I want this how I want this laid out yeah that's what I'm feeling right there How's that sit? Yeah, I think it's cool. Let's keep going. Yeah, maybe something like that. There we go. And, uh, yeah, there's a whole lot, you know, that, um, you know, the piece is, is, it's, it's very loose, very abstract. Um, and you notice the figure has kind of disappeared, right? So I want that, I'm using that as a way to represent my subject in a way that tells a story, right? That's all I'm trying to do here. I'm just trying to get my story across. Maybe just needs to be a little bit, a little bit. Yeah, a little bit more. Yeah, I'm just adding in a little bit more. And you see, in the way that that oil is sitting on that canvas now, is now you can see the brush strokes, and they're going to stay there for a while. And the difference between the two will really come around when the painting is dry it, you know one will your eye will pick up on it it will notice these subtle differences um, yeah just put a little bit more lighter tones here there we go just give them a little bit of yeah just trying to void that out nice all right so what's next Next, I'm just going to rip into some uh, lamp black here. Yeah, I'm using lamp black straight out of the tube. I'm not mixing it at all. And I'm just pouring in a lot of linseed oil. 
a whole lot. Um, this thing is like really soupy. Same brush, didn't even clean it. Um, that's not really the point of this painting. Yeah, I guess we want to have something like this. Yeah, beautiful. You know, they don't all turn out like that. Yeah, I'm digging it. Just really laying it on. It's craziness here. Cool. Yeah, and that's it. What do you say we just match a little? little collar cool cool yeah like it yeah I don't really know if I want to maybe I'll just lay this black in here I really want this to shine love these brush strokes here and I don't want to disturb that immediacy and so yeah just trying to Move a little bit slower here. There we go. Yeah. Let's move this. There you go. Cool. Move one last here. Excellent. Yeah. Kind of reminds me of those like sitting bull. Uh, paintings you've seen before, you know, although this isn't a Native American here, an Indian, this is someone else who I just, I'd rather not say really because then I think it takes away from the, takes away from the mystique of the, of the painting, yeah, yeah, so that's it, now I'm just going to get into doing some words here, and, yeah, pretty much it. So, not too much. Let me get you up close. Make sure there's no paint on me. Okay. There you go. Get out of the light so you can see those details of what I'm talking about. Yeah, they do come through in person too, so. All right.
right, yeah. I think I'm going to call it with this one. Uh, I think it turned out great. Uh, love the end result. Um, really love the difference in layers. Got a little bit of ink here next to that acrylic. And, um, yeah, I just think it turned out great. It looks almost exactly like what I saw in my head. And I just kept following things. You saw me just picking paint, following. I was trying to just, you know, um, just get all the thinking out of the way. You know, not not thinking about anything really. Just watching my hand, almost kind of taking a step back in my head and just letting the paint paint. Um, and I think in that way that it really has like a, a strong immediacy. And for me, it's also a surprise, right? So I go into these things and I see... I see something like this, right, in my head, but I also see a lot of the exteriors on the perimeters here. Um, I, I'm not exactly sure what they say when I see them in my head. Um, they, I just like to let them come out as they do. So, um, yeah, let me see if I can get you up here. Let's see. Yeah, let's get some close-ups here. There you go. Yeah. All right, everyone. Thanks so much for watching that. Um, yeah, I'm not too concerned, really, about um, how long the process takes. I mean, the end result is the end result. And for me, any time spent painting is time well spent. So uh, let me know if you like this kind of video or if you like the other videos. Um, I can do more like this. I have a lot of other works that I don't really show. I just kind of do them like this and just move on to the next one. But let me know in the comments what you think, if you like this video format. Um, other than that, if you're watching the videos and you're liking and subscribing, I just want to say thank you so much. It means a lot to me. Um, I think my channel's growing really slow and steady. Um, every video I put out, I see you guys coming back to watch, and that means a lot to me because it is a lot to, you know, film the paintings, talk through the paintings, and actually try to stay as uh, creative as I can to stay in tap with that creativity. So if you are coming here and you are watching these, it means a great deal to me. Uh, yeah, thanks so much. All right, till next time, keep on painting. Was that a good catchphrase? Until next time, whiskey. All right, I'll figure it out.